Hi everyone! I discovered the Starving Artist tag through Sade of Sadie Saves the Day. I'll link to her video in the description box down below. And I thought today would be a good day to do it. Because video day happens to fall on my birthday. That means we can do a video all about me and I won't feel guilty, right? I did skip a few of the questions because this is kind of a long tag, such as those relating to commissions or whether I make money, which I don't. Some of the questions I answered in other areas too. If you ever have any questions for me that aren't answered here, feel free to comment below or check out my social medias. I try to be as open with you guys as possible. Also, because I'm sure this video will be super long anyway, I'll talk about the art down below in the comments. So check that out if you want to know what I'm working on in the background and why. Okay, to the questions. What's your favorite experience as an artist? My favorite experience is finishing a piece. That sense of accomplishment and pride when you've done something you're really, really proud of and then adding it to your online gallery or website and seeing all the art that you finished laid out. I don't know, maybe it's related to the fact I used to turn out so much stuff back when I was a teen and I used to fill so many sketchbooks that now that I'm an adult, it feels like the struggle to finish work is constant. What's your least favorite experience as an artist? My least favorite experience is struggling. Whether I'm struggling with watercolor, or I'm struggling to draw a hand that doesn't look like crap, or whatever, really. Just when I feel frustrated and like I can't accomplish what I want to accomplish for whatever reason. This is something that especially sucks because I know it's all my fault. It's my skill set and the amount of practice I've put into something. Though, I mean, hands are also really, really hard. What are your dreams slash goals for your art? So, I mean, the obvious answer would be, I would like to make money, any amount of money, off of my art. You always want to feel like the hard work you're putting into something is paying off, and in this capitalist society of ours, that is all too literal. I would love to live off of my art, ideally, or be able to both write and create art for a living in tandem, having them both as sort of two jobs, but that takes a lot of work and a lot of dedication and time, and things are growing even harder for artists to really get themselves out there and get to that point. And I mean, this doesn't mean that I want to become rich or famous, that doesn't interest me. That isn't a realistic goal anyway. If I could make enough to survive and live off of my art, that is enough for me. What's your favorite medium and why? I think this question is interesting because I will inevitably change my mind down the road, so this is one I will probably revisit in a year or two when my art changes. But for right now, digital, specifically Procreate. It has its limitations, but they're constantly updating and evolving the app. I do also really love working in watercolor. I just don't think I'm the best at it, but that's another one of those things that comes with practice, which is what I'm doing in the background of this video right now. What inspired you to do art slash why do you love it? Like everyone with a when did you start art question, I of course started drawing when I was a kid. I mean, I think most kids draw. The real question is when you realize you weren't just doodling hand turkeys and scribbly stick people like the other kids in your class, and that you were pers purposefully trying to get better at art or that you wanted to do more with your art. I remember when I was in grade five wanting to write and illustrate my own book. I remember creating my own fan senshi for Sailor Moon around the same time, probably the same grade. And I suppose that's both my inspiration and why I love it, because it's a way to bring my imagination to life in a very visual, literal way. I can create anything or anyone, I can create characters and moods, I can feel connected to my fandoms and to my own stories and novels. What's the favorite piece you ever made and why is it special? Currently, my favorite piece is the one I call Snare, which is the turquoise and gold inspired digital painting from a couple weeks ago. I love the color palette, I love the concept, I love how her face and hands turned out. It's not perfect, I didn't accomplish everything I wanted to, but I'm really happy with it. That's why it's become my avatar everywhere. 
who slash what are your biggest art influences? I do have a few influences who are other artists. For example, Alphonse Mucha, who I think influences a lot of artists nowadays, so he feels like a given. He's a Czech artist known for his very distinctive style of Art Nouveau, and he created very feminine art. I'm also influenced by a number of comic book artists, especially those active in the 90s when I was developing my style. My most influential would be Chris Bachelow or Bacalo, who worked on the Sandman and the first couple dozen Generation X comics. His style is drastically different now, but if you look at his work on the Death miniseries and the very, very early Generation X comics, that sort of pushed me away from a lot of the anime influences I had at the time. Generation X is also my favorite superhero team and favorite comic book series from the 90s. I've not always been influenced by specific artists, though. For example, Gargoyles and Mummies Alive are cartoons I watched as a kid that I drew a ton of when I was just starting out. Fan artists around that time inspired me, though I honestly cannot remember any of their names. I became heavily involved in the fan communities for quite a few years, doing fan art and writing fan fiction. What do your family and friends think about you being an artist? I am incredibly lucky in that I've always had support, especially from my mom and from the friends I have who are also creative. As a teen, pretty much all of my friends drew. We would spend our lunch hours together, all with the exact same brand and type of sketchbook drawing together. My best friend and I would actually play hooky from school a lot just to draw. We'd sneak off to our hometown's local photography museum pretending we were working on a project and we would hide there and draw. I don't recommend you do that, but it's funny in hindsight. <laughs> Now that I'm older, I still feel supported. I mean, if I suddenly quit my day job to focus on art, I think they'd all get a bit worried that I've lost my mind, but I'm not about to do that. Honest. I promise, Mom. What advice can you give to people who want to be more artistic or creative? Well, you have to do it or you'll never start. I know it's so hard pushing yourself off that ledge to just create, so... I would suggest try attending a workshop or doing an online course. My mom and a good friend of mine recently did this cool rock painting mandala course, and both are artistic people who don't always flex their creative muscle, and I know they really enjoyed it. Adult coloring books are everywhere, in every style, and on every subject imaginable, and that's another good way to be creative. Oh, and bullet journals. Keeping a journal or a planner that isn't strict, that you can doodle in and be creative in, is also a great way to start. What do you want to improve on slash aspire to be with your future art? I do want to tell more stories in my illustrations and be able to develop backgrounds and settings better. Ideally, I would love to have my own webcomic, but those are incredibly time-consuming and I don't know if I could keep it up through the summer when I'm working full-time. I keep mentioning it and I realize some people might not know. I work in hospitality and tourism, specifically as a front desk clerk at a hotel, so in the winter I'm laid off. Uh, oh, and I also want to get better at watercolor because it is a medium I really enjoy and I don't really do any other traditional medium right now. What is your favorite thing to paint and why? I actually have a whole video about this where I talk about it more in depth, but yeah, I really love drawing feminine characters. I love drawing strong characters in particular, ones who feel powerful and super badass. I also love working with really bright colors, especially jewel tones like purples, blues, and teals. The next question is, what's the strangest thing you've painted? but I tend to play it safe and work on a lot of similar subjects. Oh wait, there is that art challenge I did where I turned Lapis Lazuli from Steven Universe into a mermaid. That one was kind of weird and the art turned out super weird, so I guess that would be my pick for this question. What would you tell your younger self? Don't stop. Don't give up. Keep sketching, keep practicing, and stay up to date with the art community. This question is something I plan on talking about at depth in a video someday because there's so much to it, but 
I basically quit art for close to 10 years, and when I came back, everything had changed. There were YouTube channels dedicated to art, there were Instagram artists with millions of followers, there was Patreon and Kickstarter, and there was so much more to the art community than just DeviantArt. And I think if I knew then how things would have changed, I never would have stopped. I mean, I don't know. It's hard to say because I was a very different person at 19 and 20 than I am now. Maybe I still would have quit. I like to think I wouldn't have. I mean, realistically, if present day Lay went back to past Lay and was like, don't quit, you idiot, keep working at it, I'm sure she would have listened. I would hope. Anyway. I screwed up, I stopped doing a lot of things in my early 20s that made me happy, and I really shouldn't have. Don't stop doing what makes you happy, guys. So, on that heavy note, now that my voice is fried, that's the end of the questions. As I mentioned earlier, I will talk about the art itself down in the comments. Feel free to do this tag if you would like. I'll have all the questions in the description box, not just the ones I did. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!